Hey, I'm Adam Saxon, also known as Guy in a Cube, and we're going to take a look at an error we can get when trying to add a Power Query data source. So stay tuned. Okay, so what the customer did was they were trying to add the connection string that we get from the workbook into an actual data source inside of the Power BI Admin Center. And when they tried to do that and they clicked Next, we were presented with this error. So this is basically an invalid Power Query connection string. We didn't, the customer didn't necessarily know what was going on, so they called us. And if we go and look at the actual connection string that's in here, let's take a look at TextPad here. If we paste that in, one thing we can see is that the length of this string is around 32,000 characters. So it's about the size of an int or close to it. And so it doesn't like the actual format of the string. All right, so if we go and look at the workbook in question, pull that up. And we can see here right away that we've got two queries within this workbook. Uh, they're both actually pulling from the same table, and we both we see that they both have 701 rows within them. So let's go ahead and look at the connections that we have here. So we can see that we have two connections within the workbook for both of the Power Query uh, queries themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look at test one and see what we've got. Let's go to definition, and if we go to this one, copy. And we'll go back to TextPad here. Take a look at our length. And our length here shows that it's 1399, so that should be fine. That's not the one we were looking for. So we'll go ahead and cancel out of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at test two. And we'll go back to TextPad. And this one we can see is 52,769. That's huge. Um, I will tell you that normally when I see connections, they are um, the size of this one or around this size, which is 1399. I've seen it upwards of 2,000 characters. So the fact that we have 52,000 characters, that's interesting. However, it doesn't match the length of the one that we saw within Power BI Admin Center, which was around 32,000. So Let's go ahead and try and add this 52,000 one and see what happens. So we'll go back, select all and paste, and we'll do next. And we get the same error. So what's going on here? So let's go back and we'll copy this one into, and we can see that it got chopped off here right at 32,769. So there's actually a limit on the text box within Power BI Admin Center of that length of 32,000 uh, characters long. And so because the connection string within our workbook is actually 52,000, that's causing a problem and it's getting chopped off, which is leading to the invalid connection string for Power Query. Yeah. The question here is why do we have such a big connection string? So let's go back to the workbook and take a look. Okay, so if we go and take a look at the uh, items for test one, so we can see a couple things here. So we've got the preview of the data, we've got the column information that's there, that's the metadata. Then we can also see uh, our data source piece and uh, there's also uh, properties here that we can go to where we can see the name of the item and also the description. In this case, there's no description. So there are a couple things that make up the connection string in question, or well, in general, there's, there's items that contribute to the connection string that we've got. And let me pull this in notepad so we can see that a little better. This is the actual connection string that we have, and there's a lot of data that gets put together that we stick into extended properties within the Excel connection. 
Um, the name of the query is one of those. Uh, the actual uh, the actual M syntax for the actual query itself is part of it. Uh, we also have other metadata that's uh, a member of it. And one of those things is the description of the query itself. And so if we go look at test 2's description, right in here, we can see that we do have information in the description. Let's just go take a look and see what that is. So, and we can see that there, this is a lot of data within the actual description field. And so this is actually bloating the, uh, the actual query metadata itself, which is resulting in the big connection string that we have within Power Query. So the other thing that I've seen that can bloat the connection string is if you actually do an append on two different queries, that will also increase the size, but the description is by far the, the largest one I've seen that can really, you can get out of control on it. Um, so just be mindful about what you're putting into the description field and the other properties within the workbook and how big that does affect the size of the connection string. And you are limited to that 32,000 uh, value there. Okay, so we took a look at how our Power Query connection string can get very large, uh, whether it's in the description or whether we've appended queries and we just need to be mindful about what we're actually doing there because we are limited from the Power BI Admin Center in terms of what we can supply for the length of that connection string and we're limited to about 32,000. So if you get an invalid Power Query connection string error, just be sure to go look at how big are these items within my workbook uh, and that's what's contributing to that size. So thanks for uh, having a look and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to uh, like the video and comment below if uh, you have any comments or questions or thoughts. So thanks for watching.